heard you lost your family, too. You really are beautiful. That's what I'll call you. Black beauty. So it wasn't just creating an entirely different character in an entirely different world. It was tapping into a part inside myself that I hadn't really shown publicly yet. And so it was emotional and finding that in myself to bring that out. And also kind of similar points in time for Joe and I. She was at a very, you know, discovery point of her life of what she's gonna be as she becomes a woman. And I had, I had just graduated high school. There was a lot of just new things coming into my life. And so it was a very transformative and discovery-based moment in my life. I mean, the main character is Kate, which is a really amazing thing. And obviously when we're filming, like even though like as an audience, you hear beauty talking throughout the scene. The humans were all so clean. They wore the funniest hats. And I loved the music. You've done it just enough. When we did that, there, you know, she, she wasn't there. We carried on as if like the beauty voice character wasn't there. And so it was really cool to see the film and see that last little bit that, you know, you don't really know how it was gonna turn out. Just click in and it was like, wow, it is that is how I, I thought of it and all that stuff. It was a really cool thing. It was like I had this one experience and then it just edited and how it all came together with the coloring and the lighting and then Kate's voice and it was just like, wow, this is, this is really cool. It's, it's like watching a different movie. You've gotten closer to that filly in days than I have in weeks. They say horses pick you. Thank you. The rescues have a time limit. You can't sell beauty. It's super, super exciting. And basically, that was my last day, which best last day ever galloping <laughs> on the beach in south africa amazing but um but yeah i was riding and i was riding indy and i was having a really fun time and then i wasn't sure if they were gonna let me just like take my hands off and just like completely go back stallion <laughs> and cody came up to me and he was like all right so now we're gonna do um no hands i'm gonna tie the reins and then when you feel comfortable just let go and i was like yes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> And I did it and it was just one of the coolest things to just have all of that emotion just like flood into you and just you look around. It was just me and Indy and it was, it was amazing. And since then I'm like, okay, I really like riding, you know, without like a saddle. And I'm like, can I do a jump bareback and with no hands? Like now I'm just getting a little crazy, but it's so much fun. I'm, I'm completely addicted now. <laughs> she saved my life, you know? How can a horse save a person? If I fought for every horse I'd ever loved, I'd have a hundred of them. I don't want a hundred horses. I just want one.